This is a quick demo of the mouth click removal feature in the product line called RX6 from Isotope. I'm not making any money from this and I have no connection to the company or anything like that. Although if they wanted to pay me, I'd take it. Also, I'm certainly no audio expert, so what works for me might not be satisfactory for you. Fortunately, there's trial versions available, so there's no need to take my word for any of this. RX6 is available for both Windows and Mac, and I'm demoing the Mac version. There's multiple packages available, and I'm using the least expensive package, RX6 Elements. I would have said the cheapest package, but at $129, I don't know that it qualifies as cheapest, although I have to say that I got it for $99 when it was on sale. RX6 comes with plugins for various video editors like Final Cut Pro 10 on the Mac, which is what I use, but I'll focus on the standalone editor for now. This is the standalone editor that comes in all versions of the product. Since this is the one from the low end version, RX6 Elements, it doesn't have all the features the other ones do. The display defaults to looking like this, but I turn off the colors because I don't really understand them. So this is a short clip from one of the projects on my other channel. We'll also use our 2x4 jig and the dial indicator. We'll also use our 2x4 jig and the dial indicator. There's mouth clicks here. There's also a mouth click here, which actually sounds like a mouse click. And the dial, and the dial. So I'm going to use the D-click module. The more expensive packages have a voice specific module called, I think, mouth declick or maybe voice declick, but the regular declick works fine for me. It defaults to the last settings you use. I have my own setting called, imaginatively enough, Dan1. And what's changed is the algorithm to low latency from all these other things. And sensitivity I boosted from 3 to 6. I think I got this idea of low latency from some document on their website, and I played around with sensitivity until 6 seemed to be what I needed. You probably won't need as much. I'll bet you your mouth doesn't click as much as mine does. So all I have to do to use this is click Process. That's it. This is the undo history, by the way. If I wanted to undo or redo, I can use the history. So once I ran the module, here's what it sounds like. We'll also use our 2x4 jig and the dial indicator. We'll also use our 2x4 jig and the dial indicator. Here's the opening part, minus the clicks. And here's the other part, minus the click. And the dial. And the dial. So then I would just save the file and I'd be done. As I said before, I don't really use any of the other features other than occasionally using the voice denoise and the normalize function. I always use the standalone version rather than the Final Cut plugins for two reasons. The first reason I always use the standalone version is that as of when I shot this video, there's some bugs in the Final Cut plugins. The second is that it just seems easier to run it against a whole audio file and use that in Final Cut. I keep both the modified and unmodified audio files in my Final Cut projects in case I need to go back for some reason. I haven't needed to do that yet though. I could go into more detail, but I don't have the time right now. <laughs> if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Thanks.